Students and chilly teachers, not only is it freezing outside, some Portland schools also have freezing classrooms. Our Amy Frazier is digging deeper and joins us live outside PPS headquarters. What did you find out, Amy? Well, one teacher says her classroom was just 58 degrees this morning. So I met with the facilities director here today to find out more. He says there's been heating related issues at 50 to 60 schools this week. Frigid temperatures have meant problems inside Portland Public Schools, like Marysville School in Southeast Portland, where Cheyenne Little is a volunteer. Sometimes during reading, the kids have their coats and gloves on. Yeah. This is one of dozens of schools this week with issues keeping kids warm. Between our in-house staff and outside contractors, we're trying to get out to our schools uh, to solve those problems as quickly as we can. I'm told a contractor sent to Marysville yesterday addressed a controls problem. We've got a variety of, of uh, cold issues in our schools, um, uh, kind of across the district. Um, a lot of that is caused by our older buildings. Um, uh, we have a variety of sources for those heating problems, this combination of controls uh, issues and uh, old and outdated equipment and failing equipment. The facilities director says maintenance crews are doing the best they can to keep up during this cold snap, but it's been challenging. We do deploy uh, temporary um, portable heaters uh, into our schools uh, when we have short-term issues that we need to deal with. Um, we also have options, obviously, in the schools if there's room to move classrooms for a period of time until we can get the heat back up. Just today, a teacher at Stephen Elementary sent a note to parents saying their classroom was getting colder every day this week. The teacher warned parents to bundle kids up, saying they'd be keeping their jackets on until things warm up. So what's the long-term solution? Well, district officials tell me more money is needed to upgrade aging facilities and equipment. Reporting live in North Portland, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News.